Right. So, um, we're here with Callum, who's going to walk us through this user interface. Um, before doing anything, Callum, um, this is on a Mac, you know how to use a Mac, don't you? Yeah. In terms of being able to click. Um, it just works the same as any other laptop. You move the mouse about the screen um, and just click on it. Um, this is something that's supposed to be used on a touch screen, so we're mimicking that with a mouse and click. So you need to move the mouse around and click on things. Okay. Um, instead of pressing this touch screen. So before doing anything, look at the screen and describe what you think the program does. Um, I think it guides a robot because it's just robots coordinates there. Um, the sensor seems to show the the way which the robot would go. Um, I assume one bit's the front and one bit's the back, and first the the red around the edges. Um, yeah. That's great. Okay, we'll let you say that this is a system that um, works by guiding a robot around uh, a, a map, and um, we're going to sort of walk through doing that. So, could you see try sort of moving the robot around the area? So what are you doing at the moment? I tried to click because it, it looks like I, didn't, I wasn't sure whether that was the, the areas in uh, which the robot would move. So if I click there, so you're I clicking in the sensors box to try and... I thought that might be looking forward, but no. Okay. Beforehand, what you were doing was clicking on the robot and then the thing. Oh. Can you make sure you keep doing that? So, um, you've managed to make the robot move. Can you make the ro ro robot stop while it's moving? Yeah. That's great. Um, well, could you change the robot's path? It's recording. Um, okay. So what do you think the speaker button does on the system? Uh, I should say the volume's turned up full, so you can see here. Okay. It's on full. Um, there's a voice command. Any other ideas what it might do? Um, No, really. Yeah, that's. Yeah. Um, move forwards. Can you speak clearly because it's recording your voice as well? Okay. Um, that that's fine. Um, so next question. Um, what do you think the follow multiple waypoints button does? Oh, is that so that you can um, move from one place? <laughs> To another, just another thing. Take that, so you can you can change your change your uh, path. Um, so you think than just being, it being able to change your path rather than just being able to go one way. Do you want to give it a go? Okay. If I print this off, so when you when it's. Um, when follow multiple waypoints is off, what does that? Uh, what will that do then? I assume we'll be able to go one way. So then you go to the first point, the first point, and then stop. Cool. Uh, but that is what it does. And what do you think the show robots coordinates button does? You've, you've got it on at the moment. Oh, this shows, shows where it is in terms of the grid. Uh, in terms of the grid. It's like a grid there. Um, and uh, how does that correspond to? Is this? The, the real world where the robots uh, operating. Well, I assume you can, you could, uh, 
make a layout so then the robot knows where it is in, in terms of, of, of your of your base area. But I mean, at the moment we've got it at one three four one nine three. Um, whereabouts would that be in the informatics forum? Well, if the floor's flat, um, but I mean, do, do, is there an easy way of telling what those numbers mean? Um, <laughs> it's just where it corresponds in the layout of the floor. Um, if that was a flat grid, then that, that's... So are these centimetres or are they...? Well, it's, it's coordinates. Um, it could be anything. could be anything, OK. Um, right, OK, that's great. Um, next, can you can you look at the sensors reading? You see we've got uh, the sonar there. Yeah. Um, what do you think they mean? Oh, no, I, th- I, th- I thought it was what position the robot was... Uh, yeah, originally you said that. But uh, now I think because it's changed and uh, I think it's how close you are to the wall. Okay. Um, because you're kind of in the just left of, left of centre. Uh, the the sensor seems to indicate that the wall's quite close on the left hand side. So what 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 the sensor reading means? Uh, it, more sensor reading means the nearest the wall. Yeah. Um. So sort of the, the 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 more red the colour as it was. Yeah. Um. That's great. And um, what does the uh, try to read the infrared sensors? What what do you think they mean? What? Sorry. What sensor? What sensor? Um, exactly. Um, the infrared. So you, I don't know what one that is. You don't know what this, the infrared no. sensor is. Um, do you know how you look at the infrared sensor? No. Um, well, uh, if you click on the sonar button, you'll see that that, that actually turns it to the infrared. Oh, okay. um, what did you think that, that that button was? I thought it was an on and off button. On and off button for... Sonar. For sonar. Right, that's cool. Uh, and what about the, the readings for that infrared output? Um, I assume that means that the... Is the, is the infrared must just be in the front of the, of the robot, so it'll be the direction it's going. Um, it's um, does that give you any idea about the difference between infrared and sonar sensors? It seems just sonar it gives you a wider perspective of what's happening around the robot, rather, than, and it gives you a further distance as well, because the infrared only gives you a short distance of the water front. So you think infrared only works in one direction and sonar works in all directions yeah. and over a longer distance? Yes. Yeah. Okay, that's great. Um, well, just finally, um, do you find the program easy to use? Relatively. There's a few things I didn't quite understand, but it's, I, sp- I suppose if you, the longer you use it, the, the better it gets grips with it. <laughs> that's great. Um, thank you very much. And um, just finally, for number 12, are there any improvements that you'd make that would make the program... Uh, probably an, an an IR button and a, a sonar button um, separately, just like a so you just click on them rather yep. than having it, having it on, on the one button because um, you don't really know the sonar is there now that yeah. the IR is on. Um, one of the things I noticed you were doing as well is you were clicking on the robot and then um, to make a waypoint like yeah. this. Um, you don't actually need to do that. You can just click okay. on the map. Was that just not clear how to do I'd, that? I just wasn't sure whether you could do it or not. I'd, cause I initially, the first, the first time I did it, I got it by clicking on the robot and then clicking, clicking away. Yeah. Um, so I, ju- I just used the same pattern. Um, that's great. Well, thank you very much for your time. Um, I really appreciate it. Just finally, um, how old are you? Yeah, 19. 19. And what subject do you study? Economics. Economics. And you are in which year? Second year second year. Well, thank you very much for your time. It's very much appreciated.